Before I head off on any adventure, I like to make sure that I'm caught up on all of my social media. It's TikTok. It's YouTube. It's an Instagram reel. It's a regular video. It's the Ukraine war. It's a regular video. Ah! Let's just go adventuring. Let's just go adventuring. Let's just go adventuring. Put it there, brother. Slim me some skin. Psych! Yeah. Since you last saw me, my Jeep Black Bear has grown a tail. A rather substantial one. I bought this travel trailer, a Sunset Park Sunray 149, a few months ago, and I've decided to go mobile full-time with my Jeep Cat Miso, now turned Trailer Cat, and my two snakes, Charlie and Philip. Why did I decide to do this? For someone who loves to adventure, the idea of staying in one place and then going out on adventures when time permits and then coming back to the same place was inefficient. So I decided to approach the problem of expenses from the bottom up. By going on the road full time, I reduced my overall cost of living while also freeing myself from having to come back to the same place after every trip. Instead, now I just live inside the adventure. So I research a general destination and I drive there. If I find a place I like, I might stay and camp a while. Okay, check it out. Photo, campfire, trailer, photo, campfire, trailer, photo. There, I can drop off the trailer if I want and establish a camp and go exploring further with the Jeep. And what I give up in home basage-ness, I get back in splendiferousness by the oodles. Who cares about owning a place when I can enjoy a piece of real estate like this for free? I mean, look, beautiful creek, camp, mountain view, again. Beautiful creek, camp, mountain view, and as a professional photographer, the best part about this lifestyle is I can just roll out of bed, ready, once I put on shoes, and make a shot like this. Or this. Solid. I spend my days at camp working on photos and videos. Nailed it and came back with evidence. My photo tour business. This is an ergonomic nightmare. Taking my cat Miso for a walk. Exploring the trails, going for hikes, and looking for oddities around camp, such as this plank bridge over a beautiful little creek that leads to an unappealing pile of sand on the other side. And this quaint little bridge that ends in a bush. And cooking the simplest meals I can possibly think of. I even have this crazy RV grill that mounts to the outside of my trailer. And these even crazier rolling grill baskets that let me rock, roll, roll my way to perfectly grilled peppers. Ah, my face. If I get the generator going, I can even make a pot of rice on the rice cooker. Because what kind of Asian would I be without hot steamed rice? Hot steamed rice! Passable, and I will eat it. I can even enjoy hobbies like old time AM radio. Absolutely no reception. Reptile handling. Coming up with crazy camp hacks like this multi-level contraption that boils pasta and heats the sauce at the same time and shadow puppetry. My turkey vulture has become an Instagram heart. Woof, woof. Oh, woof, woof. And of course, without a doubt, enjoying the wonderful sights and sounds around camp. Cue up the sights and sounds.
but I know all you really care to know about is my cat, Miso. She seems to be loving this lifestyle so far. She's 12 years old and has not an ounce of fear in her. She spends her days goofing off at camp, hunting prey, both real and imagined, and sunning herself. <laughs> After sliding off the top of the trailer, she's right back to her old antics. Well, it's time to figure out where the grand adventure takes us next. Maybe the Harry Potter sorting sleeve can help. Gryffindor! That was no help at all. I've been an adventurer my whole life, but now the full-time adventure has just begun. And I'm looking forward to sharing these adventures with you through my channel. Now here's the part where I teach you how to use YouTube, because you might not know how. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. Hufflepuff.